of incredible losses. The Toronto Stock Exchange finally shot up today, rising under 900 points after a similar surge on the Dow yesterday. Don Drummond is with us. He's chief economist uh, with TV, TD Bank. So what does what happened today tell us about the crisis of confidence? Well, it shows that investors want to believe in hope. Um, they saw some more measures from the United States and from Europe. They probably don't completely understand them. We certainly won't know for a while whether they're going to work. But after being battered, they want to believe in that hope. But in measured doses, as you referred, the Toronto Stock Exchange ending up almost 10%. But at one point, when it opened, it was up 16%. So did people jump in and say, oh my goodness, I'm going to sell now because they were so desperate to sell last week? And I'd say so. And then very quickly realized maybe it's overdone. I, I think the two key things is what is the rate at which banks can raise money at? And despite all these measures that actually wasn't getting knocked down so that kind of tempers your enthusiasm a bit and we look at energy stocks took off as well and yet the price of oil continued to go down so perhaps that tempered the enthusiasm as well so the market still isn't making sense is it from what everything you're saying well, it's just, you know, 10% in one day. We we're used to following that in one year, and you'd guess how the 10% would be staggered. You know, up 16% and down 10%, so yeah. even huge intraday. I, I think they're like me. I'm at the same position. We've never been in this spot economically before. You can't just pick out your history book and say, here's how this one plays out. Here's the playbook on it. We've never seen financial institutions this problem. We've never seen central banks and government authorities react this well, way. Well, then here's the thing that worries me, because everything I keep hearing is that there's more to come. Right, six, six million more homes are going to go to a fault in the United States. We still don't know all the debt that's out there. Did we just cross one hurdle and there's many more? Or where are we in this, this incredible moment? Oh, there's more. Uh, I, I think U.S. housing has to go down until there's a sense it's cheap. But I think that's another 10 or 15 percent. But I think the government authorities have crossed one hurdle as well. They have basically said, we will do whatever it takes. And if this doesn't do it, we will do more. I mean, ultimately, maybe they'll own the whole U.S. and European banking system, but they are going to turn it around. It just takes a little while to get it going. All right, we'll keep hanging on for the ride, Don. Thanks very much for coming.